students welcome to global online kannada in today's session we are going to see thesis writing in research methodology in detail by using mcqs so thesis writing is the most important part in the research methodology because after all the students and all the researchers doing their whole research procedure they need to write the thesis at the end that is nothing but the dissertation or research report so on this topic you will be asking 3 to 4 mcqs in phd common entrance test and that's why i have covered all the concept relevant to thesis writing in this session so students you need to watch this session until the end so that all of your doubts will get clear students let us begin with this session now so students all of you know that karnataka state open universities phd common entrance test 2023 will be on 23rd july right and in this phd common entrance test you will be asking 50% mcqs from the research methodology and 50% mcqs from concern subject so to qualify this entrance test all of the students need to score more marks in research methodology section and as well in the concerned paper subject okay so students to score more marks in research methodology we that is global online team provides you research methodology complete course by the use of this complete course all the candidates can guaranteed qualify phd common entrance test so in this course we provide you full syllabus video lectures under which theory and mcq lecture both are available we provide you full syllabus notes and mock tests we have 10 mock tests like this and each mock test contains 40 mcqs and that's why overall all the students can solve 400 mcqs we provide you more than 1500 mcqs revision pdf so by the use of this revision pdf all the candidates can revise all the topics in this pdf only and that's why they'll be be getting 80% mcqs from this pdf only out of 100% mcqs in the research methodology paper of phd common entrance test so all of these study material are available in both the languages and those are hindi and english both so students if you want to buy this complete course then either you can download the global online app from the play store for which i have given the link in the description box of this video or else students can be contact me through the whatsapp numbers which are i have given on this screen so students the course fees are only 699 and in this low fees we provide guaranteed selection to all the candidates that they can guaranteed qualify the phd common entrance test and take the admission to the phd at the university so students we have demo video lectures we have demo mock tests and you can give demo mock tests and watch video lectures that to demo video lectures free of cost on the global online app and after that they can buy the complete course okay so this research methodology complete course is nothing but the research methodology revision package for all the students and after that obviously they can study very well research methodology subject by this research methodology complete course okay question 1 is what is the correct sequence uh, in a citation for a journal so basically students whenever you know you write a whole research report uh, and that particular research report uh, get published in a particular journal okay then at the end uh, okay of each and every research report we write the references and as well we write the you know references within the text as well okay so there is a proper uh, you can say a referencing style okay which is called as you know sequence of a citation and here they have asked you that correct sequence in a citation for a journal so let us see over here the different options pagination volume number name of the author title of the article title of the journal so students everyone uses a standard format of referencing style okay and it includes the sequence of certain uh, things so first of all you need to write uh, the name of the author okay so first of all you need to write the name of the author then after that you need to write the title of the article okay then write the title of the article then write the title of the journal title of the journal then write the volume number okay and then write the pagination 
or pagination so pagination means page numbers okay on which page what is there or you know in that particular whole journal okay on which page that article is there okay so that is nothing but the pagination or page number so your correct answer should be one because c will come first then after that d will come then after that e will come then b will come and then a will come so this is the standard format of writing a reference or writing a citation for a journal okay and everyone uses it students authors everyone uses it as well scientists uses it okay so your correct answer is one next is ibid is used in which of the following so when we use ibid exactly and in what think we use ibid so whether we use it in citation whether we use it in bibliography or in index or in figures and tables so first of all students let us see what is ibid so students the full form of ibid is the in the same source okay in the same source okay and it is used to save space in textual references to quoted work which has been mentioned in a previous reference okay all of you understood and that's why ibid is used in citation okay as i have told you earlier in the question one that citation means uh, you know you are referring a particular article okay and okay and that's why you are mentioning that article in your whole research report because you have referred it for your whole research process okay so this is nothing but the citation and ibid is used in citation and the full form of ibid is in the same source and it is used to save space okay to save space in the textual format or in the textual references to the quoted work which has been mentioned in a previous reference as well okay now what is bibliography so now bibliography includes both the things it includes citation or references as well it includes the other references such as books okay so it includes citation and other books that we refer or that we don't refer but still we mention it in the bibliography because it includes that information which is relevant to the research topic and that's why the reader can use this sources for their further research or for their knowledge okay this is nothing but the bibliography and again uh, ibid can be used in bibliography as well but the primary uh, you know use ness of ibid is in the citation itself and then after that it comes in bibliography then index means basically within the index we give the information about at what page number what is there in the whole research report and figures and tables all of you know that what is that figures and tables that's why your correct answer is one that is citation this we provide ksou phd common entrance test 2023 paper to study material to the all the candidates so that they can score more marks in paper 2 that is in concerned subject so in this we provide full syllabus notes and mcqs and in the mcq section we provide most expected and most repeated mcqs and as well pyqs by the use of them all the candidates can guaranteed score more marks in paper 2 and after that they can qualify the phd common entrance test at ksou so the subjects that i have mentioned on this screen so on all of these subjects we provide paper to study material so if you want study material for any other subject then you can ask me in the comment box the fees for paper to study material are only 999 and in this low fees we provide guaranteed selection to all the candidates that they can guaranteed qualify phd common entrance test so to join paper 1 and paper 2 courses students can contact me through the whatsapp numbers only that i have mentioned on the screen the term al means which of the following now what is the meaning of al now so whether it means that same or and others or cited in or appendices so students the meaning of al means and others okay and others and it is used especially in referring to academic books or articles that have more than one author 
ओके सो फॉर अ पर्टिक्युलर बुक और आर्टिकल हैव मोर देन वन ऑथर देन एक्चुअली वॉट वी डू दैट वी मेन्शन द नेम ऑफ वन ऑथर and after that we mention al so the name of that author and others okay this is the common you can say uh, referencing style okay that we use in citation so this is again the short form that we use in citation and the meaning of that short form is and others and when we use it whenever we are giving the reference for a particular book or article and if you know it has more than one author then in that situation what we do we write the name of one author only and after that we mention al so it means that the name of that author and others okay that's why your correct answer is 2 because the meaning of this short form is and others next bibliography given in a research report shows vast knowledge of the researcher helps those interested in further research has no relevance to research or has no specific value so as i have told you earlier in this video itself that bibliography includes the references okay that we refer during our whole research process and as well it includes the books or different articles that we don't refer actually but it is useful for the reader okay so that they can grab more knowledge about the research topic and as well they can do the further research and that's why bibliography is given in a research report so that it can help those interested in further research so your correct answer is 2 next pick the correct format of the reference now over here they have given different options and each option includes the different format of the referencing style and we need to identify the correct format of referencing style so let us see title of the chapter or article then title of the book or journal then first name then last name then publication then place then year and then page number last name of the author first name of the author title of the chapter or article then title of the book or journal then publication then place then year then page number title of the chapter first name last name article title of the book or journal then publication then place then year then page number title of the book or journal then title of the chapter then first name then last name then article then publication then place then year and then page number so students as i have told you in the question 1 of this video that the common referencing style of any kind of author is that you know you need to write first of all the last name of the author okay so first of all you write the last name of the author then after that you write the first name of the author then after that you write the title of the article or the chapter okay so whenever it is a journal then you can write the title of the article or whenever there is a book then you can write the title of the chapter okay then after that you write the title of the journal from which journal you have given that article or, or you have referred that article or you can write the title of the book then after that you can write the publication what is that publication then after that you you write the place of the publication then year of the publication and the last one should be your page number okay so that's why your correct answer is 2 because this is the correct sequence or correct format of the referencing style so you are writing last name of the author first name of the author then title of the chapter or article then title of the book or journal then publication then place and then year and then page number so this is the common format and everyone uses it and you should to uh, you should to remember this format okay arrange the correct order of bibliography now again here they have uh, you know asked you about the correct order of writing bibliography so again within bibliography same rule occurs or same rule applies so let us see over here publication given then last name first name then title of book then place or year place and year so students whenever you write the bibliography then again you need to write the last name of the author 
then first name of the author then after that write the title of the book okay then write the publication and then write the place then write the year so th this is the common format that's why your correct answer is two over here because b will come first that is last name and first name of author then title of book comes next then publication comes next and then last one should be place and year okay next is critical and analytical writing refers to now what is the meaning of critical and analytical writing so students in the research report writing there are two types of writing the first one is descriptive writing and the second one is critical or analytical writing so basically the meanings of both of these writings are similar okay so here now we will understand exactly what is the meaning of critical and analytical writing okay so critical writing explain the impact okay or consequence of given situation so for example there is a particular situation so critical writing explains the impact of this situation okay or the consequence of the situation then it links the discussion back to research aims objectives and research question so whenever we do a specific kind of research then obviously we have a research question we have the research aims we have the objectives and that's why critical writing okay forms a particular link between the discussion part of the research report to the aim of the research all of you getting so this is the most important thing and that's why analytical or critical writing basically focuses upon the meaning of everything in the whole research process and descriptive writing basically describes okay when how okay so these things what okay these things describe by the descriptive writing but analytical writing focuses upon the importance of it so let us see what are the options they have given us methodology used in research writing then method of reading and writing then research to be evaluated and writing a report on it then criticism of the research writing so as i have told you earlier that critical analytical writing and descriptive writing so these are the you know formats of writing a research report and that's why this is a methodology used in research writing and that's why your correct answer is one because these basically are the methodologies that we use in research writing okay next what is harvard and chicago referencing style now what is meant by harvard and chicago referencing style so whether references taken from harvard university reference of books published by these universities or style of references used in thesis writing or pattern of thesis pattern of research used by these universities so students basically this video is for thesis writing okay in research methodology and that's why harvard and chicago referencing style both of these styles are the style of references that we use in thesis writing and that's why your correct answer should be three over here and the commonly used referencing styles are harvard and chicago referencing styles and both of these styles are common okay and they are similar actually so as we have seen a particular and common referencing style okay in this video in that basically we write first of all the surname of the author right first of all we write the surname of the author then after that we write the name of the author so it is actually okay if you give only the initial of the name of the author but you need to write surname of the author as a whole then after that write the publication year in the bracket then write the title of the chapter or article then write the title of the book or journal okay then after that write the volume number if there is any then you can write the place where this particular book or journal has been published then you write the you can say page number 
ओके पेज नंबर सो दिस इज द कॉमन फॉर्मैट ऑफ द हार्वर्ड एंड शिकागो रेफरेंसिंग स्टाइल देर इज ओनली वन डिफरेंस दैट इन द प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल वी हैव सीन दैट देर इज नो पब्लिकेशन इयर ओवर हियर बेसिकली यू नो एट दैट यू नो रेफरेंस पब्लिकेशन इयर वॉज ओवर हियर बट इन द हार्वर्ड एंड शिकागो रेफरेंसिंग स्टाइल आफ्टर द सर नेम एंड ऑथर नेम यू राइट द पब्लिकेशन इयर इन अ ब्रैकेट एंड आफ्टर दैट ओनली यू राइट द टाइटल ऑफ चैप्टर और आर्टिकल एंड देन सब्सिक्वेंट अदर थिंग्स ओके एंड दैट्स वेर हार्वर्ड एंड शिकागो रेफरेंसिंग स्टाइल इज द स्टाइल ऑफ रेफरेंसेज दैट वी यूज इन थिस इज राइटिंग सो स्टूडेंट्स सो रिमेंबर this referencing style because this is very common referencing style and on this referencing style every year every year you will be asking a question okay so you need to understand this and you need to remember this next is the following is a format of citing bibliography in research so now here they have given four options so which of these option okay is the format of citing bibliography in research so whether it is paa whether it is e journal whether it is opac or whether it is apa now students let us see one by one what of the, what are these options so let us see first of all what is paa so the full form of paa is pattern is pattern analysis analysis and application and application so basically it examines use of advanced methods including statistical techniques neural networks then genetic algorithms fuzzy pattern recognition then machine learning and hardware implementation which are either relevant to development of pattern analysis as research area or detail novel pattern analysis application okay so in simple words pattern analysis and application examines use of advanced methods which are either relevant to development of pattern analysis or research area or detail novel pattern analysis application that's it what is e journal so as the name suggests it is an electronic journal okay and it is a periodical publication that is published in electronic format and it is always published you know through internet or on internet so you will get it in online mode only what is opac what is this so the full form of opac is online public access catalog okay online public access catalog and this is a digital database of materials such as text files then ebooks journals held by library or group of libraries and the last one is apa so the full form of apa is actually american psychological association american psychological association okay and this is uh, actually this is a format okay this is a official format or style of american psychological association and is commonly used to cite bibliography okay cite bibliography in psychology education and social sciences research and the format of apa style referencing is that first of all you write the author's surname you write the author's surname then give comma then after that give the initials of author's name then full stop then after that write date published in bracket date published in bracket then after that again give full stop then write title of source title of source means uh, he over here you can write the title of chapter or title of article then after that again give the full stop then write the location of publisher then write the location of publisher over here title of uh, source you can also write the title of book or journal as well okay whatever available is there then here you can write the location of publisher okay publisher and the name of publisher over here 
then again give full stop then write the retrieved from url retrieved from retrieved from url means over here you can give the url link from from which link you have referred this uh, whole article or whole journal all of you getting so so this is the common format of apa style so as you have seen earlier over here harvard and chicago referencing style so the the same style is for apa as well okay so you know all of these styles are common there is no any difference and these are the common referencing style and which is used by everyone and now next question is and that's why here your correct answer is 4 apa okay which is a format of citing bibliography in research next is a predatory journal is the one whose publishers so now what is predatory journal and uh, what are the publishers of a predatory journal so publish for a fee with substandard or no peer reviewing then the publishers of journals have acquired the publishers of journals in similar disciplinary domains publish without a fee but with proper reviewing insist on charging a fee for publishing after the manuscript has been accepted for publication with proper reviewing and editing so students a predatory journal has the publishers okay these are basically the scam publishers and they, and they take a fees from the authors and as well they does not offer any kind of proper reviewing and as well they actually do a fake work and that's why your correct answer should be one because uh, you know the publishers of a predatory journal publish for a fee with substandard or no peer reviewing and that's why you know this kind of journal is called as a predatory journal okay because these publishers are like a scam and they take a fees for nothing from the authors and that's why your correct answer should be one so students thank you for watching this session okay so if you have any doubts you can ask me in the correct you know comment box of this video